This one shocked me, absolutely shocked me. But the Cleveland Cavaliers are the best team in basketball, hands down. There's no debate. They are the new kings of the NBA. Cleveland Cavaliers now are 12-0. and They will be 15-0, by the way, as soon as they beat Philly, Chicago, and Charlotte coming up soon. And then they're going to actually have a real big game against Boston on the 19th. Mark your calendar for that. But this is not a fluke. This is not a drill. This team is for real. I, I learned this after they kicked the Golden State Warriors' ass as I was watching. They, they were up 40 in the third and got bored. They are first in points per game at 122.4. They are first in field goal percentage at 52% per game. They are top 10 also defensively in points allowed. They have six guys on their team averaging 10 points per game, led by Donovan Mitchell and his 23.7. They are a true real strength in numbers. They got other names like Garland you need to pay attention to, Allen, Mobley, Levert, Niang, Okoro. They're deep. They play. Play well together. There's no ego. They spread the ball around. They're defensively swarming people. They can shoot much better than I thought. They're tall as shit, by the way. Guys like Mobley at small forward, Allen putting them all together. They are a defensive and just matchup nightmare. The Cleveland Cavaliers are for real, and I actually think, as of right now, I would put them ahead of the Boston Celtics. This is not a gimmick. This is not a fluke. The Cleveland Cavaliers are for real. I am shocked that I'm saying this, but they are clearly right now the kings of the National Basketball Association. And, you know, it just is what it is, man. It is what it is. Shout out to Cleveland. This is my top five currently in the NBA as of 11, 13, 24. When this is recorded, this is my top five. This is, I got five on it. I'll tell you at fifth, this is the one I got, the Phoenix Suns. And look, you guys are nine and two, but Kevin Durant is hurt again with a calf strain. You are very top heavy to me. I mean, yes, you have the big three, obviously, of KD, Booker, and Beal when you're healthy, but I look around. Other than that, you know, names like Jones, O'Neal, Nurkic, Allen, Dunn. I don't know if it's going to get it done, pun intended, in the Western Conference, so I got you guys at five, especially with KD injury. Oklahoma City, I put it four for the same reason. Man, and Chet Holmgren is out for a while. Ooh, he actually uh, had a big pelvic fracture there. His status is not even going to be updated for eight to ten weeks. We hope he's going to come back at the end of the season, but that's a big loss for the Oklahoma City Thunder, who had a lot of big expectations this year, and and without having Hartenstein, too, I think you're going to have to go with, like, Wiggins at center. That's a 6'6", dude. Can't go small in today's world. Size matters. I got you guys at 4, even with your 92 record. The Boston Celtics now calm down. I put you all at 3 right now because technically you have lost 2 of 4, and you lost to the team that's ahead of you just recently in a head-to-head -head matchup. So I have to put you at 3. I still have you my favorites overall. Again, this is just the top 5 current rankings. But you have lost 2 of 4. You do obviously miss Chris Dapps, Porzingis. Uh, Kata and Cornet are not getting it done in my opinion but I will shout out the other two Derek White and Pritchard these two guards have really had you know just unbelievable years White's averaging 19.8 a game Pritchard's averaging 15.7 he's playing phenomenal so I have the Boston Celtics at third and you can call me a stand or a fan I'm going by record I'm going by performance I got the Golden State Warriors to kiss my ass this is my top five you can come up with your own top five list but I have legit reasons but the Golden State Warriors right now as the second best team in the league again they're nine and two so they're tied first in the Western Conference which is by far the way tester, uh, tougher conference there. They have survived a road trip from hell. The last five games ended up 4-1 and one with victories on the road against Boston and Oklahoma City. Their bench has been phenomenal since we said goodbye to Captain Clay. The bench now is on a pace that they've never actually seen before. They, I mean, it's only 10 games in, but if they keep this up, they would have by far the highest scoring bench of all time in NBA history at like 59 points per game. They're also now adjusting now. Uh, pay attention to this if you watch these games. They're doing doing that blitz off the pick and roll when they come up that point guard as soon as they set that first screen we are now doing what teams have done to Steph Curry for years what's his blitz that first guy because we have enough youth and length and energy to be able to make up for the other things that should be open and instead aren't there we actually have the number one blitz rate in the entire National Basketball Association they're kicking ass and taking names they're still too uh, small in my opinion that's going to be an issue you know the entire year and it's always been a you know an issue for the Golden State Warriors but I got to put them at number two not just because I'm a fan because they beat the Boston and Celtics they beat the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Phoenix Suns are hurt and so I gotta I gotta put them where I think they deserve to be and I think they're at the number two spot the number one let me throw this in here I did not see this coming a mile away I was not right about this when they were four and I was like ah it's cute it's a gimmick I don't think you guys are for real the Cleveland Cavaliers are the kings of the basketball world and it is by a long shot I mean let's pop the video up here for me Corey this one shocked me absolutely shocked me but the Cleveland Cavaliers are the best team in basketball, hands down. There's no debate. They are the new kings of the NBA. Cleveland Cavaliers now are 12-0. 
They will be 15-0, by the way, as soon as they beat Philly, Chicago, and Charlotte coming up soon. And then they're going to actually have a real big game against Boston on the 19th. Mark your calendar for that. But this is not a fluke. This is not a drill. This team is for real. I, I learned this after they kicked the Golden State Warriors' asses as I was watching. They, they were up 40 in the third and got bored. And again, the Warriors are one of the best teams in the league this year. This new head coach from Golden State, Kenny Atkinson, used to be an assistant coach over there, has got them playing phenomenal basketball. Again, this 12-0 start is the best since the 2015-16 Warriors, and it's the sixth best ever start, and I think they're going to go up to 15-0 pretty easily. All of those teams that have started off 12-15-0 to have either made the finals, and I think one made the conference finals, but they have all had extended playoff pushes. This is enough of a window to see if these guys are for real. They are first in points per game at 122.4. They are first in field goal percentage at 52% per game. They are second in the entire league, winning games by 12.1 point difference. They are top 10 also defensively in points allowed. They have six guys on their team averaging 10 points per game, led by Donovan Mitchell and his 23.7. And Ty Jerome, dude, I guess congratulations, but man, you sucked out loud in Golden State. Who is this Ty Jerome who has been kicking ass? Dude, he is even averaging 10 points and three and a half assists in just 16 minutes. But again, they beat the Warriors. They kicked their ass. They beat the Bucks twice. They beat the Lakers. They beat the Knicks. They're 12-0. and They are a true real strength in numbers. They got other names like Garland you need to pay attention to, Allen, Mobley, Levert, Niang, Okoro. They're deep. They play well together. There's no ego. They spread the ball around. They're defensively swarming people. They can shoot much better than I thought. They're tall is shit, by the way. Guys like Mobley at small forward, Allen putting them all together. They are defensive and just matchup nightmare. The Cleveland Cavaliers are for real, and I actually think as of right now, I would put them ahead of the Boston Celtics. I really think they could win this whole thing. We're going to win. We're going to win. Th this is not a gimmick. This is not a fluke. The Cleveland Cavaliers are for real. I am shocked that I'm saying this, but they are clearly right now the kings of the National Basketball Association. And, you know, it just is what it is, man. It is what it is. Shout out to Cleveland. City's still a shithole. Nice people. Worst big city without question. There's not even a close second. Maybe Detroit, where my family is from. But, man, every time I went to Cleveland, I was like, boy, I can't wait to get out of here. At least now you can watch a good basketball game. <laughs> Moving on. And